Hello, MLT family. Thanks for tuning in to Mainline Today's Fit Fest. I'm back. I'm Dr. Janine Darby. I'm your double board certified obesity and family medicine physician, best selling author, and CEO of Lifestyle Changes, a virtual medical practice. I help moms get their sexy back after pregnancy and feel better about themselves through weight loss coaching products and resources. Feel free to post in the comments here today, or if you watch later, post hashtag replay and post any questions or comments that you have and I'll be sure to answer, all right? Okay, so today's session is on supplements. Supplements, do you need them? What are they? And how do you choose a good supplement? All right, so stay tuned. Let's dive into this. So what are supplements? So these um, things <laughs> became um, available back in 1940s, basically to supplement your diet to get an, um, so that you're getting enough nutrients and to enhance your health. Um, these were seen as vital substances for the body's needs to function and um, also um, to help reduce the risk of disease, all right? So these um, substances contain at least one dietary ingredient such as vitamins, minerals, herbs, botanicals, amino acids, or enzymes. Did you know that one third of Americans take supplements? So that's 33% of Americans take supplements. So let's see which age group do you think um, uh, are the most, that take the most supplements. Um, so 45% of adults older than 65 take more than four, four supplements per day. Um, but supplements are very popular in the age range of 35 to um, around like 54 years of age as well, all right? So, so there you go, 33% of Americans are taking supplements. So let's talk a little bit more why, why they're important, why people feel that they're important to take um, at this point. All right, so why they're important. So to basically to get enough um, essential nutrients and to maintain or improve your health. All right, so I, I believe that's why uh, most people are looking for good supplements. Um, and I'll share a little bit more of how you find those good supplements, all right? So, so basically, they're important to get enough essential nutrients and to maintain or improve your health. Um, also, some people may have some vitamin deficiencies and you may need a supplement to help with that. Um, also, some have been found to lower your risk of certain diseases, um, whether it's hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol issues, um, and then people just want to be proactive about their health and wellness. How about that? I, I, I like to do that as well, okay? So how do you find these quality supplements? Because not all supplements are created equal. You know, some people may go to GNC, some people may go to your CVS, your local Walgreens. Um, not all of them are created equal, all right? So let's, um, you know, discuss how to find these quality supplements. Um, first of all, before you start looking, check in with your doctor prior, okay? Check in with your doctor prior to... Um, um, taking any type of supplements, all right? So the other thing um, you may want to ask your doctors when you go in for that annual well check is also to check um, your vitamin levels. So certain um, vitamin uh, levels that you can check are like vitamin D, B12, um, your, usually your calcium and electrolytes are routine with a routine um, panel. So, um, but you'll have to ask your doctor to add on vitamin D or vitamin B12, okay? All right, so 
how do we find these quality supplements? So just to let you know, the FDA is not authorized to review any dietary supplement products for safety and effectiveness before they are marketed, all right? So manufacturers are required to produce dietary supplements in a quality ma manner and ensure that it, there's not, it does not contain a lot of contaminants or impurities. And they are following um, the current good manufacturing practice and labeling regulations. So on any of your dietary supplement bottles, you should see like a label on there um, that may say CGMP. All right, so um, basically it's gone through like a quality standard program to make sure there's not contaminants or impurities in that supplement, all right? Also, from um, these brands or companies, it is illegal. It is illegal for companies to claim that supplements will treat, diagnose, prevent, or cure diseases. So if you see this on any um, supplement bottles, it is illegal and it's not, it's false, it's fraudulent, okay? So companies should not claim that supplements treat, diagnose, prevent, or cure diseases. So if any of these things are on the bottles, do not get it, do not proceed, okay? All right, so it's also important to know which ones are beneficial to your health and which ones are harmful, all right? So, um, in addition to a healthy diet, there's evidence that there are some supplements that can benefit your overall well-being with little to no risk. So let me share a few with you right now, okay? So vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 helps um, keep your nerve and blood cells healthy, um, helps make B DNA and can prevent anemia. You also have your folic acid, um, which you hear um, a lot in pregnant women. They take that to help reduce any type of birth defects, um, um, specifically neural tube birth defects. Um, vitamin D, uh, um, you, many have heard of that, which strengthens your bone and improve, it can improve um, diabetes, hypertension, also reduce your um, breast cancer risk as well. So vitamin D. Calcium is another one that um, may be beneficial, um, helps promote uh, bone health, especially with your postmenopausal women. Calcium is very important as well as your vitamin D, all right? So another thing, um, winter is coming. There are gonna be a lot of colds and everything. Vitamin C, vitamin C is another beneficial supplement which can help prevent cell damage. And also, if you take a daily dose of around like 200 milligrams or more vitamin C, um, it can help prevent or shorten the durations of colds in about 8% of adults um, and 14% in children, all right? So it won't prevent colds, but it can help shorten the duration of your cold. So that's vitamin C, all right? Fish oil, fish oil, fish oil um, has been showed um, to support heart health, also um, some cancer prevention and treat inflammatory disease, and help maintain muscle, fish oil, okay? Vitamin A, vitamin A um, can help slow vision loss from age-related macular de degeneration. Um, so vitamin A is good for that. Zinc, zinc has been very popular lately. Um, zinc can help um, promote skin health, slow down vision loss as well from age-related macular degeneration. It can lessen um, symptoms of the common cold as well. So winter is coming. Um, also melatonin. Melatonin is very popular as well for sleep, um, which can also help um, in uh, contra uh, contract um, jet lag. We're not traveling too much these days overseas, so but um, it has been shown to help with um, um, jet lag as well. All right, so there are also supplements 
um, that may interact with your medication. So that's why I said in the beginning, make sure you check with your doctor before you proceed with any um, over-the-counter or any online supplements, because some of these supplements um, are good, like I just shared, but others may interact with your medications. Um, it may pose some risks to um, certain medical conditions, such as liver disease, um, and then also, a lot of these supplements have not been tested on pregnant women, nursing mothers, children, um, so proceed with caution, okay? Um, so certain supplements um, that I'm just going to highlight for you that um, you may think it's good but um, may cause some problems. Vitamin K. Vitamin K um, can reduce the effectiveness of um, blood thinners, so if anyone's on blood thinners, that can um, cause problems, okay? Ginkgo. Ginkgo also can increase blood thinning. So be careful if you're taking ginkgo for memory. Um, that may cause problems with um, blood, blood thinners as well. St. John's wort. St. John's wort can, um, uh, can uh, interact with antidepressants, birth control, and those things can be less effective. So be careful with that as well. Also, some herbal supplements um, named um, comfrey, cava, um, may, damage your, may damage your liver. So be careful with those as well, okay? And um, beta carotene or vitamin A um, has been shown for some to increase the risk of lung cancers in smokers. So um, beware of that. Okay, so the, I highlighted a few um, Supplements that may be helpful, others that may be harmful, but this year there have been a lot of popular supplements on the rise. So um, let's go through that. So what do you think is the most popular supplement out there right now in 2020? I'm going to highlight 10 of them right now. All right, so number one, vitamin D especially now that we're gonna be indoors as the weather gets um, more cold. I mean, the temperature is becoming winter, we're hibernating more, um, we're not out in the sun um, because vitamin D um, is activated in our skin with absorption of um, UV rays. So um, vitamin D is important for your bone health and other things that I mentioned before, like hypertension as well. So that is very popular. I know, I take it because <laughs> um, my vitamin D levels have been lower um, in the past. So I take vitamin D. Um, it helps with my, um, my energy levels as, as well as um, keeping my bone, my bone health um, improved and everything. So vitamin D is a popular one. Magnesium. Magnesium um, supplements have been shown to decrease frequency and symptoms of migraine headaches also improve sleep so some people are taking more magnesium for those things fish oil fish oil fish oil fish oil fish oil has been very popular in the past and still is um some people use it for their mental health and treating inflammatory disease cholesterol issues and such another one that's important or popular this year is coq10 CoQ10 is an antioxidant. It helps convert food to energy. Um, it helps with heart health and increases your HDL levels, which is your good cholesterol. It decreases um, uh, muscle pains for those that are on statin uh, medications that decrease your um, cholesterol. It can help decrease those muscle pain from the, those particular medications. Multivitamins. Who takes a multivitamin? Yes, multivitamins are popular still. Yes, they are. So um, many Americans aren't getting their average requirements of um, vitamins and minerals, um, such as vitamin D, vitamin E from your food. So multivitamins is there to the rescue. So um, take those on a daily basis. It's very helpful. Um, the other one is probiotics. Probiotics are your good bacteria, but lately I've seen a lot of studies um, which shows um, that have been very controversial 
which um, shows that it may not be beneficial for um, gut health or GI issues. So, um, but they're still popular um, for some people, okay? The other one that's popular is curcumin or turmeric. Um, it's a good antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Some people use it for pain relief of um, joint aches, arthritis, um, things like that. Vitamin C, again, is important, especially now. A lot of people are probably shopping for vitamin C because um, we're getting into the winter weather and um, we're uh, getting into the time where we see a lot of common colds, the flu. And yes, COVID is still here, but it has not been shown that it helps prevent that. So anyways, um, another one that's popular is B-complex. B-complex can help reduce stress. Who doesn't have stress now, right? Um, anxiety, memory loss, migraine, and health, um, heart disease risk as well. And then the number 10, calcium. Calcium is still popular for bone and teeth health. All right. So those are some, those are the top 10 popular um, supplements right now. I'm just going to highlight a few that are helpful for immune boosting, especially now um, that we're um, coming into a season where we're going to see a lot of illnesses. Um, so certain uh, supplements that you may want to look at or may take is zinc, which may help the common cold, especially in children and adolescents. Um, vitamin C um, also can help prevent the common colds. You can take 200 milligrams or more um, on a daily basis to help prevent those. Um, Eukinacea um, is another uh, one that you can um, take. Uh, uh, daily um, to help prevent colds and um, also elderberry is another one um, that has been popular um, that many people have taken. It's, it's been shown to help tame inflammation, lessen stress, help protect your heart too, um, and uh, may prevent or ease cold and flu symptoms, okay? Um, another one that's an immune booster or um, help in reducing inflammation is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha contains chemicals that may help calm the brain, so reduce stress, <laughs> reduce swelling, inflammation, lower, it can lower your blood pressure, and also help with your immune system, boosting that um, immune, um, immune um, cells and everything, okay? Um, another thing that uh, a lot of people have been um, knocking at my door, calling me about is how can, um, what can I take to help with my weight loss? Um, besides a healthy diet and exercise, those are important, but there's certain supplements that um, may help um, as well. So just to highlight a few here, um, CLA, which is conjugated lin lin linolenic, it's a big word, <laughs> acid um, may help reduce um, body fat um, deposits and may help in reducing um, feelings of hunger. So that's a popular one. Um, CLA, um, a lot of people know it as, okay? Chromium as well is helpful for lowering your um, fasting blood sugars, your insulin level, and in some people, um, reducing body fats in um, people with um, type 2 diabetes. Um, and then also it can help with your cholesterol levels, all right? And then another one to highlight is green tea extract as well. So those are a few things that can help boost your immune system, help um, supplement um, your weight loss, progress, or and such. All right, so let's just recap a little bit um, and give you a quick tips in looking for that quality good supplement, okay? So, like I said before, number one, ask your doctor first before you start on any supplements, all right? So that's important. Number one, ask your doctor first. Number two, look for um, certification. Like on the um, bottles, look for the CGMP um, label, label that um, the supplement has been um, processed through a quality program. Number three, read your labels carefully. 
there may be some impurities or um, certain supplements may not tell you what is actually in the supplement. So look for quality um, certified supplements. Also, do not purchase supplements with expiration dates close to the date of purchase. So look on the bottle, it's important. On the bottle, they also should tell you the recommended dose. If you have any questions with that, seek help, ask your doctor before you um, take the supplement. Also, if it's too good to be true, don't take it. If any supplements tell you it helps you lose weight, it helps you cure the next disease or whatever, or, or it increases your sexual function, beware, okay? If it's too good to be true, don't take it. Um, and lastly, do not use supplements as a replacement to a healthy diet or exercise, okay? So supplements are just as it sounds. They are supplemental to a healthy diet and exercise, all right? So does anybody have any questions today or any comments for me? Okay, all right. So thank you all for joining in on this afternoon session. Um, hopefully this information has been um, informative and uh, you can um, now know how to choose quality um, supplements. If you found this helpful, uh, make sure to like this video, drop um, comments below, share with your family and friends. Um, and, uh, you know, ask away, comment, and I will be sure to, um, respond. All right. So thank you all again for joining. I am Dr. Janine Darby. I'm a double board certified obesity and family medicine physician, best-selling author, CEO of Lifestyle Changes, a virtual medical practice. I help moms get their sexy back after pregnancy and feel better about themselves through weight loss coaching, products, and resources. You can find me on all social media platforms at Dr. Janine Darby, that's D-R-J-A-N-I-N-E-D-A-R-B-Y. Or you can learn more about my services and products on my website, www.lifestylechangesllc.com. Also during the Fit Fest, which happens today happens to be the last day, hopefully you have enjoyed all the wonderful sessions here, but I will be offering unlimited free 15 minutes discovery sessions to discuss your weight loss goals. And one lucky participant will receive a gift bag with quality, doctor formulated, doctor approved supplements from the Lifestyle Changes supplement line. So stay tuned for that. Um, you know, Mainline Today will let you know of that lucky participant. So thank you again, all. Um, all of you for joining me this afternoon. Um, hopefully the session has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe and stay healthy. Take care now. Bye-bye.